on that. And there are new questions today about whether Hillary Clinton may have committed a felony. She was required by law to sign a form that certified that she had handed over all of the federal records that she had to the State Department when she left her post as Secretary of State. Talking to Megyn Kelly last night, a former Justice Department attorney describes what this form is and lays out the legal stakes. The form itself says, hey, before you sign this, understand that you are certifying something that, that we can prosecute you for. Making a false statement in this context, knowingly and willfully, which... I, I can't imagine anything more knowing and willful than knowing you have 55,000 records sitting in your home. I, if you do that, it is a it is a felony. Now, he laid it out in no uncertain terms last night. Doug McElway joins us now live from Washington. So, Doug, does this put Hillary Clinton in perhaps some serious legal jeopardy? You know, Martha, that's going to remain the subject of a lot of conjecture. That former Justice Department attorney, Shannon Coffin, suggested it does. There will be no shortage of lawyers and legal scholars who say it doesn't. And as long as that legal wrangling continues, it buys Clinton time and it buys some scandal fatigue all to her benefit. If this regulation was perceived of as pro forma and seldom enforced, that would hardly warrant felony status or jail time. Still, it gives yet another reason to search through her emails thoroughly, especially those that have not been turned over. No doubt looking at, the, at that, that wherever the secretary had those records, if she had them in her Chappaqua home, if she had them in her office, if she had them somewhere else, she's got to bring all of the records to the table and, and turn over any official records at the time of her departure. Clinton has said that she will not turn over the server, but calls for that to happen are growing stronger uh, certainly among her critics, Martha. Yeah, and what about the White House? Have they reacted to this? You know, the White House discomfort with all of this is beginning to be very palpable. It drags them back into Clinton's scandal land, a place they would rather not be. Recall that the president initially said that, that he learned of the private email account and server through news reports. And then Josh Ernest acknowledged that the president had corresponded by email with Clinton, but that he didn't know it was this private account unscreened by State Department filters. Now the White House just wants to turn all this over to Clinton's people. This is a decision that was made by Secretary Clinton and her team. Uh, and what we're talking about are emails that she described as personal uh, that relate to uh, you know, what she described as a variety of, of own personal arrangements, whether it's her daughter's wedding or, um, or, or other personal things of that nature. So um, again, I, I'd refer you to Secretary Clinton's team about the decision that they made on that. At the same time, Ernest has been careful to note that the president takes the Federal Records Act very seriously and complies with uh, record keeping meticulously. Mm -hmm. Martha? All right. We'll see where it goes. Uh, Doug and Monica coming up on this in a few moments as well. Thanks, Doug.